Thank you. 
the line when it's need to get the free.
50 chances. Freeze has been going. Cross common games way so far. There's a heavy, heavy challenge on Colin Riley. Three into Cross Commons to land the game. Dual car in the game. No score in 25 minutes or so now in the game.
hear anything. Chris Golden with this kick out. Four points to two. Chris Golden gets the kick from Oz. Jim Manor goes up. Taken quickly into the corner.
time. Five now for Roscommon Gales. A terrific save there from Barry Heffernan. Denied. Upon a forward goal taken quickly to the situation. Taken in quickly from the game. Clear the pass to Donald Stan. The shot in front of the goal. The ball goes wide. Game for Roscommon Gales. That's when I have five wides as Barry Heffernan, fresh from that wonderful save down there, Christian Hoyle out to us. Into the lane, it breaks down there. Jim Barrett comes on to us. Paul McGinnis leaves it in the back. He takes the man out of the line. Christian Gold to Jim Barrett down in front of Paul McGinnis. Paul McGinnis pulls. Terrific run by Jim. Five points to two. And flashing down over the place. 
was a terrific run by Nanan, one of the best he gave all day. Johnny there now, a very important kick. Just two minutes into the second half. Hands up, he kicks it in. Ryan a shot. Michael Ryan a point. the field, low into the corner, down towards Noel Convey, Convey has it, kicks it across, Deborah kicks it straight to Fergal O'Donnell, Fergal O'Donnell takes the ball up and then gives it on towards the fellow centre field, McNeely, McNeil, McNeil out there on the far side, towards Noon, Noon going up the far side of the field, followed by into the bell, being challenged and being fouled and it's a free in to Roscommon, free to Roscommon, 40 metres out or so, Johnny now tracking his man back. 40 metres out, 15 metres in from the sideline, chance to narrow the gap down to still further, three points in a double scores, three points to six, Paul McGuinness back in the middle in his own half of the field. Michael McHale comes and kicks it high in and the ball goes wide. Another right for the Roscommon, five wides apiece now. Both teams with the same number of wides. Ross cross my line of hand, tying his lace. One. This Damien Mulligan down there, three points in it. That was a quick reply by Roscommon. Michael Ryan after Johnny Leonard's point just after that break. Into Stenson, looking over Damien Mulligan, and Damien is up, and he's all right to resume after the boot lace. Gerard O'Malley runs to take this free from Barry Heffern, and Barry Heffern back to Tom Nannan fouls this man as he was trying to get through, and a free, short free that went a bit wrong. Ross Shannon, foul there, and a chance for Ross Common to narrow the gap down. Shannon will take this free himself. Favourite position, about 35 metres out or so. Well, cross the line, it just got caught there on that short cross, kicks it in, kicks it over the bar. <laughs> Ross Shannon narrows the gap down to two points. Five minutes into the second half. Substitutes on both sides warming up. Barry Heffernan will take this free from the 20 metre line. Ross Common right back in it again. There was four points of a lead there a couple of moments ago. Now it's back to two. Kicks the ball on the far side of the field. Linda Lavelle is onto that. Goes up, grabs it high in the air. Wonderful catch, Ross Common man on the ground. Ball across there towards Michael Miles. Michael Miles, the judge, to have touched the ball on the ground and free to Brian McNeely. Well, nine times out of ten, players get away with that. Not on this occasion, Michael Miles. The promising attack cut off. Takes it long and low towards Adam Norton. Adam Norton looks up then. Low ball inside in towards the full forward Kelly Beach. Running into his own man, Kelly. A big high ball in. The ball goes wide.
Well, a good chance there for Alan Nolan to narrow the gap still further down. He pulled the ball out to the left and wide. No breeze, very dull evening now. Getting very dark, light dropping, fading by the minute. As a fog descends over the town here in Roscommon. Barry Hefferin kicks the ball out the far side of the field towards James Mallon. As Pat McCanter comes back, seems to be pulled off it. But the Roscommon man got away with it. Back down front of the goal, a shot, big high ball in. And it's gone over the bar. Michael McHale, I think, they kicked that over the bar. Well, Pat McCandler seemed to be pulled back there on the far side of the field, and Roscommon and Gale seemed to be getting away with those little niggly little fouls. Crossman ended down to one point. Advantage now, five points to six. Roscommon, three quick points in this half. Six or seven minutes gone. Barry Heffernan comes and kicks the ball this side of the field, lower towards Johnny Leonard. Ball fading out towards this side of the field. Johnny couldn't keep it in play. Cut very fine indeed. Michael Ryan has pulled back to take the free from where the ball went out. Ryan comes, kicks a high ball in there. Big high ball. Dangerous ball. Barry Heffernan comes out, grabs it. Had to be sure, had to be safe. Well, he put it out. The referee says it wasn't illegal and, well, that was a harsh decision. He seemed to just fist it out. But from being four points up, cross Benina will be le uh, just level with seven minutes gone in the second half. Ross Shannon now comes up, kicks it in. He does, over the bar. Six points apiece. Six points apiece. And Cross Benina have fallen behind now in the second half they seem to lose their grip around the middle of the field and Roscom and Gales are back in the driving seat they will have to dig deep now and in the first half when they were kicking the ball out long and into the bell goes up with the one hand grabs it being challenged and being fouled and hit by Clifford McDonnell Long ball in there towards Paul McGuinness. Paul McGuinness is down on it. He's seemed to be fouled, pulled and dragged. Free to cross my nine and who'll take it? Pat McCandra leaves it to Johnny Leonard. And nor could free. Gerard O'Malley was up in the corner. He comes back now to his normal position, picking up Ross. Ross Nolan. Or Ross Shannon. Johnny Nair now with a cute angle. Thomas Naftas is standing there. Flags waving behind the goal. Russ and Gale's flags. The sides are level. A important kick here now for Cross Mariner. He kicks it in. But there's a tail on it. It goes off wide. It was a difficult kick. I think he should have gone short. Roscom and Gales are in the driving seat at the moment. They have drawn level after cross Crossmanina's quick point after half time. They've got four second half points. High ball out towards Thomas Naftis. Knocked down there, picked up on the half back nine. Kieran Heenan is knocked away by James Nadan. Back there is Michael Miles comes back there towards Colin Riley. Colin Riley out to Dan Pat McCandra. Pat McCandra out there to Jared O'Malley. Jared O'Malley then a low ball in there towards Johnny Leonard. Tries to skips away from his man still Johnny Leonard hitting for the corner flag. You won't get any score out there, Johnny. He's pulled down back there towards Noel Convey. Convey trying to borrow his way in. Pushed off the ball. The referee sees no free there. Then a low ball out that side to Alan Nolan. Ball out to Paul Noon. Noon takes it up. Dodonna is stuck by Gerard O'Malley and the referee is calling into the bell in. And that's Common Gale's man saying something to both of them. Taking out the notebook. And that all stemmed from back there when Noel Convey seemed to be pulled back 
as he was delivered on the ball. Now what's the referee going to do? Well, he's booking both of them. And he's going to hop the ball. Well, the ball breaks down and Lavelle breaks onto it. Well, well, what's he going to do, the referee, this time? He says it's a free to cross Malina. Free to cross Malina. Indy Lavelle will take it. He's going for a big kick. A huge kick in. It's dropping in. Goes wide. Well, he should have gone short, I think, on that one. He was ambitious. And Crossmanina need a bit of guidance at the moment now and need a score. They have the possession, but they're not getting the scores on the board. And the physically stronger Roscommon Gales backs are getting away with a bit of pulling and dragging. James Manning goes up, knocks it down. Thomas Noctis races onto it, onto Michael Miles. Michael Miles down in front of the goal, kicks a high ball in, but it goes wide. And in the first half, those shots were going over the bar. Now they're not. Another wide. Eight wides. Three in the second half. Roscombe and Gales are just the one, and they've scored four points. Looks like Pat O'Gardner is going to be introduced. He's warming up down here. High ball down there, James Nana goes up, knocks the ball down, Fergal O'Donnell goes for it, being challenged by Johnny Nerd. Johnny Nerd busts onto the ball, he's been challenged, he's been pulled back, and it's a free in. Well, terrific work by Johnny there, he got in the hand tackle and knocked the ball away. And Pat O'Garner comes on. And who's going off? Well, it's Thomas Loftus. Pat O'Garner is on. Thomas Loftus goes off and Johnny Nair now has this chance to put Crossmanina back in front. It's a difficult kick by Johnny Standards. He should score it. Comes up and he kicks it in and kicks it over the bar for the huge throw of the Crossmanina fans down here under us. Now the Roscommon number 12, 13. Ross Shannon is having a word at the sideline. He must see something that needs attention out here as Chris Grogan kicks out. We played 14 minutes of this second half and time is skipping along. Chris Grogan with the kick out, out towards Joe Kane, knocks it down towards Johnny Leonard, Johnny Leonard. Back to Joe Kane, Joe Kane is on the run, still Joe Kane. Back there to... Michael Myers, Michael Myers down the pack to Paul McGuinness. Again, it's a point. A terrific score by McGuinness. Well, that was a great score, Paul McGuinness. Joe Kane knocked the ball down, and Johnny Nerd, and they were all involved there. Chris Grogan with the kick out. Cross behind the back at two points advantage. 15 minutes left in this game. And there's an awful lot of football to be played yet. A lot of football and Chris Gogan down, taken down there on the ground, loose ball. Clifford McDonald goes for it, being challenged and taken quickly. Long ball in there and towards Jerry Kelly. Kelly loses the ball. Tom Nallon back. Back there is Colin Riley. Colin Riley looks up, then goes for distance. For the sunny straight to Ross Cameron. Ross Cameron kicks it in. Long ball. Colin Riley is back, out of place at the moment. Back towards McHale. McHale fists it across. Pat McCandler's in there and. Number 15, John Hanley, still in De Lavelle is back there. Still back there, back to Kelly, Kelly down. Looks up, then Michael Myers comes across and shadows him. Michael Myers goes on to it. Out there to Michael Ryan, Ryan is out there, Michael Myers goes on to it. Ryan is shot. Ryan a point. Michael Ryan is second point of the game. Terrific score to pull back the point that's Paul got a minute ago. And they're taking all their chances now in the second half. 14 minutes or so left in the game. 
Jared Cunningham out there in the world of Tommy Gallagher, uh, Tommy Jordan. High ball out from Barry Heffern and into Lavelle is under it. Seemed to be pushed down there. Lavelle piles it on, takes the ball on. Half blocked. Goes to Jared O'Malley. Back there to Joe Kane. Joe Kane races onto it. Down to Michael Miles. Michael Miles down in front of the goal. Then there to Johnny Leonard. Johnny Leonard down in front of the goal. Back to Jared O'Malley. Jared O'Malley then to Michael Miles. Michael Michael 13 metres out. Back to Johnny Leonard. Back to number seven, Jared O'Malley. Fists it in across the goal. Long ball out there. Pat McCander comes on to it. Free do. Free Ross Common Gaze, take it quickly, long ball in there to Stephen Rutchard and John Hanley. John Hanley and Pat McCandle goes back, gets at his man. Clifford McDonald is... Or Kieran Heenan is fouled and it's a free to Ross Common Gaze and it tends to tie up the score again. Well, Pat McCandle was foolish there. There was no need to give that free away back there. There was three cross behind him and around the ball. Another sub on for the Gales, number 18. James Comiskey. James Comiskey comes on for Ross Chairman. Chance now for Gales to tie the score once again. Absolutely nothing in it. This game has swung back and forth. Michael McHale, 40 metres out, kicks it in, kicks it all about. <laughs> Size level, eight points apiece. And now number 19 comes on. Owen Brown. Owen Brown comes on. And who's going off? Patrick Hoey is off and Owen Brown is on. Take it down. Fergal O'Donnell comes on to it. Being challenged by Indra Hell. Still O'Donnell. The ball is lost there. Was knocked away by Indra Hell. Picked up by Jared O'Malley. Jared O'Malley in towards Johnny Leonard. Johnny Leonard. On the ground. Free to cross the line. Hot ball, Norbert. Hot ball. Who's comes on? Jared O'Malley is on. Our Jerry Welch is on for, who's he come on? Is it Joe Kane? Is it Noel Convey? Yeah, it looks like Noel Convey has gone off and Jerry Welch has come on. Well, Jordan O'Malley set up that ball there and ball in, James Nallon goes for it. Knocked down, Fergal O'Donnell takes it on. Long ball from Noel. Tom Nallon is out. Still Tom Nallon, burst away, being challenged. Well, challenged by Alan Nolan. Alan Nolan being spoken to by the referee. Well, Tom Nallon would be a huge loss here if he had to go off. Referee taking a drink out of the bottle as Mick Loftus goes in and Tom Nallon seems to be in an awful lot of pain and that's not like Tom Nallon to be down on his feet too long. The game finally balanced, eight points apiece. Just something super now, 10 minutes to go. Need some, just some little break and into the bell comes, takes it towards Damien Mulligan. Damien back to Inda, Inda into James Nallon, James Nallon 70 metres out, long ball inside with his tail cut out there by the full back, still the full back, free out, and Crossmanina has just lost their way a bit now, ball out this side here to Clifford McDonald, McDonald steps inside as Pat Aguero goes back to him, back there long ball, Pat McCandler's back there, Pat, Tom Nallon comes on to it, it's a free out. Crossmine needs a quick free now. There's men loose everywhere. At the moment, there's an awful lot of a space, but it goes into the space where there's a Roscoe man all alone. Cool heads. Back there is Brown. Brown kicks it all out the far side of the field. Knocked inside. 
Pada Garna goes on to it. It's a free to Roscommon Gales. Nine minutes left. Nobody over here on this side of the field. Nobody marking this man over this side of the field. Gary Welsh goes into Fergal O'Donnell, but he gets away from Michael Myers, goes back, still challenges him. Pat McAndra hits him, still Fergal O'Donnell. Out there, back there is Jim Nannan, grabs the ball, bursts out of it. Out to Gabriel Welsh. Back to James Nannan, James Nannan takes it on now. Out to Joe Kane, Joe Kane has it. Turns inside, being fouled. Taken quickly towards Damien Mulligan. Damien Mulligan takes it on. Still Damien Mulligan, challenged and pulled down by Michael McHale and free into Cross Marina. Well, has Michael McHale been booked before, I wonder? I have a funny feeling he had been booked or spoken to anyways. Well, if he, he, he's booked now, yellow card. Johnny there with this most important free and anyone Johnny takes seems to be extra important this today. Roscommon trainer down here appealing that he brought the ball in and the referee goes with the crowd's decision and there wasn't much in it, it's very narrow the angle that was, the distance he took, maybe a half a foot, maybe a foot. Johnny Lair comes up now, floats it in, it goes all the bar. Well, that roar can be heard back on the deal as Crossman to go ahead with six or seven minutes left in the game. And now we need a big effort from every man here. One point in it, Roscommon will come back and Fergal O'Donnell has been coming into the game in leaps and bounds in the last couple of minutes, making those runs. As Chris Grogan comes and kicks the ball out. Joe Kane goes up, brings the ball down. Jordan Manny gets onto it, out to Indy Lavelle. Indy Lavelle being challenged. Still Lavelle back there towards Damien Mulligan. Damien Mulligan looks up towards Gabriel Welsh. Into Johnny Leonard. Johnny Leonard has been heavily challenged by the midfielder there, Liam McNeil. He ran into a short elbow. Well, he got a terrible belt there in the face. As he got the ball, he just turned around. McNeil and met him. 98, the score remains. Well, he's down on his feet and... Into the Bell wants to take this free. It's a crucial time now, crucial kick. Johnny Leonard would be absolutely crucial to this team now in the last couple of minutes. His work rate and his ability to take close in freeze. Johnny Leonard is on his feet. Well, this ball now needs to be popped inside. Towards Joe Kane, it is down towards. Into the veil, into the veil, being challenged by Fergal O'Donnell. Still the veil, knocked away from him, goes down. Back there to Jordan Manny, it's intercepted. James Nannan trying to intercept it. This comes back to John Hanley. John Hanley is on the road. It's a long ball out there towards Colin Riley. Colin Riley's speed. He's taking away the ball down towards the goal. Ball goes wide. Well, that's a bad miss for us, common point of view. Across cross Manina were on the attack. It was attack that broke down. They should have just held on there. Five minutes left in the game. Maybe four minutes. Depends. It's up to the referee as PJ left his worms up down here below. There's just five minutes left in the game. This is a crucial kick out now. James Nallan is on the road. O'Donnell. James is beaten. Free into Roscommon. And Fergal O'Donnell. Now the referee says, come on, take the free, Fergal. A lot of space on this side of the field. Fergal O'Donnell is going for distance. Lisa there too, is it Michael McHale? Takes it low in there. Into us, Kamaski. Kamaski looking back. A shot. 
The Barry Haverland comes out. Nana will come up the field. Gives it out to Pat McAndrew. Pat McAndrew on the far side of the field is Stephen Rochford. Inside to Joe Kane. Joe Kane is on the run. Still Joe Kane being challenged. Three Roscoe men around him. Still Joe Kane knocks it inside to Pat McAndrew. Pat McAndrew has Gabriel Welch out this side of the field. Lose the ball. Ball comes out. Roscoe takes it away. James Allen comes back. Takes up Liam McNeely. The ball out the far side of the field. And what looked like a promising attack as James Nana comes out, Tom Nana comes out, knocks the ball away from his man, it's a free in. Well, no, there wasn't much in it. As we head down towards the last minute or two. Michael McHale with his free now. 40, 38 metres, 35, 7 metres out or so, 35. Meters out. He's used this pitch like the back of his hand. The size level, nine points to eight. Are we heading for a draw? McHale comes up, kicks it in. It's gone over the bar. And Mike McHale has got the last couple of scores. Now they Time to big effort from Crossbowline. A point will secure this game, and they cannot give away a point. About 60 seconds or so, one minute left of the game. The high ball out the field. Gabriel Welsh goes up for it, grabs it. It's free to Crossbowline and Gabriel Welsh wins the free. Crossbowline needs to play it around now. James Allen has the free. I would like to see James going up the field. Every man sees to be marked up. There's nobody in the front of the goal marking the, the full back at the moment. James Allen goes for distance. A high ball in. Breaks down to the last comment. Clifford McDonald. Clifford has it. Takes it out. Gets it out the far side of the field. Out there is John Hanley. The ball seems to go away from him a bit. Gerard O'Malley challenged him, but the referee says it was a free. Freeze Ross Common. Ball down. James Dallin comes on to it. There's a Kieran Heenan. Kieran Heenan takes it on. Into the veil goes back after him. And it's a free in. Oh my God, it's a free in. A free in just under 45. Well, into the bell. Shutting to foul there. It's a 45 kick. What a cruel way if this kick would go over the bar for Crossbowline to go out of this year's Connacht Club Championship. Nine points apiece. PJ Loftus is getting ready to go in down here. As Michael McHale lines up this free. It's a crucial kick for the Gales. There isn't much time left in it. They were beaten last year in the final. By a swipe. And PJ Loftus is in. And McHale kicks that ball wide. Who's going to go off? Nine points apiece. PJ Loftus strides down to the full forward position. It's hard to see who's coming off. Is it Joe Kane? It is. Joe Kane is off. High ball out. The referee says there's time for no more and it's a draw.
Cross line is two points up on the attack. Paul McGinnis, long ball in there, is cut out by the missed Michael Miles is down in front of the goal 13 metres out still Miles the shot inside in front of the goal cross behind the man is tall down it's a penalty it's a penalty well from this distance it's hard to know who was pulled down was it PJ Loftus Greg Burke says it's PJ Loftus well who'll take this penalty cross behind at two points up Paul McGuinness a point and Joe Keane a point from a free as the rain streams down crowd are in, it's a small crowd compared to last Sunday now who's going to take the penalty well Indy Lavelle is going to take the penalty and this is a vital kick well he's looking out towards the sideline to see if there any guidance of to say kick it over the bar or what Chris Grogan the former Roscommon goalkeeper in the yellow, hands on his sides as Lavelle comes Shoots, it's in the net! End the level, the flag goes up and cross the line to lead 1-2 to no score. Cross the line to have all the attack playing into the town end goal. But this is a day that slipping and sliding, anything can happen, goals will come and chances will be missed. The pitch in excellent condition despite the heavy rain this last hour or two. Chris Grogan with the kick out. Out towards O'Donnell breaks it down, taken up by the centre and back as it's uh, Kieran Heenan in so Damien Mulligan. Tom Nallen is out. Tom goes up, he's safe, he's challenged, bursts out. Pat McCandler knocks it back there to Stephen Rashford. Stephen is pushed in the back by number 12 for the Gales, Alan Nolan. Hot ball now. Well, I didn't see what happened there. He mustn't take it from the correct position. Fergal O'Donnell and James Nallan. James Fergal has it, trying to borrow his way too still. Fergal, Fergal is shot. Fergal kicks it over the bar, it's a point. Well, that was a giveaway score for Cross Malina there. That quick free didn't work out. Barry Heffernan with this kick out here into the this wet conditions, a high ball out there. Thomas Loftus goes for it, comes off his fingertips down on the ground. James Nannan goes in, takes it away, digs it out. Referee says the free to cross Manina taken quickly. Pat McCandra is attacking up the side of the field. Not the best part of the pitch. Then looks up, looks for somebody. That man is Paul McGuinness goes for it. Thomas Loftus comes in, digs it out. At the first time, misses it. Comes back there, long ball in there towards Fergal. Fergal has it, throws it across. Jimmy Nallan picks it out to Thomas Loftus. Thomas Loftus then knocks it in front of Pather Garner. Pather has it. Challenged, fisted back there towards Thomas Loftus. Not a great pass. Pat McCander comes to him. It's taken on. Fisted on to number 10 is Michael McHale. Michael McHale looking up. He has men running all over the place. Still McHale. Gary Kelly is calling for it. Back there to the full forward, Gary Kelly. Gary Kelly is shot. Gary Kelly a point. <laughs> One kick out there. Uh, 15 minutes gone. Cross for nine. One, two to two points. Jimmy Nana goes up for the ball. Taken away from number 15 there is John Hanley. John Hanley gives it back. Gives it back to Hanley. Hanley has a shot. is blocked down by Inter Lavelle takes it on, low ball out towards Paul McGuinness, Paul McGuinness chips it back, picks it up, then switches the play over the side of the field, a long ball, Michael Miles will have to work very hard to get this, not the best pass, Michael gets in the challenge on Fergal O'Donnell, Fergal O'Donnell, back to, it's well blocked there, comes in towards the corner forward is Alan, John Hanley, John Hanley is fouled and it's a free, has Colum Riley slipped to see, went to go for the ball and he left his hand on the number 15 and it's a free in. Ross Shannon will take it. Dangerous position here now. Ball could drop short and come off the post or anything. 
Gary Kelly is just outside the square as Ross will come and kick this now. Ross kicks it high across. Knocked down there, but the ball has gone wide. Number 10 tried to keep it in there. Michael McHale failed to do so, and ball has gone wide. One, two to two points. Sixteen minutes gone. Looks like Anna Nolan has moved in full forward on Tom Nallen and changes all over the field. There's nobody picking up Michael McHale at the moment. James Nallen does now. Broken down there, dug out by Pat McCandra. Two cross behind him and seem to collide there. Ball comes to Colum Riley. Outside to Gerard O'Malley. Gerard low ball out towards Paul McGuinness. Steps inside his man, was pulled and dragged, and it's a free. Free to cross Manina. James Nanel wants to take it. James Jones goes the far side of the field towards Joe Kane. There's a lot of meat on it. Will he keep it in play? He couldn't, he was in tough luck. He just beat him to the line as the rain comes down and free back here towards Pal Noon. The idea was right. Paul takes it short, comes towards number five there is Michael Ryan. Michael has it, been challenged, it's a free. Brings the ball up. Referee didn't spot it, comes towards Hanley, knocked down. Pat McCandra picks it out. Pat McCandra has done a silly thing, given away a free. Gary Kelly pulled on him there and he retaliated and the referee will hop the ball and when Crossman I had a free out, gave it away. Referee in the stints and wants them all back. Wants to throw it in between Fergal O'Donnell and James Nadd and James goes up, knocks it down into Lavelle, goes on to it, boots it in. Ross Cameron boots it out close to the sideline into Lavelle, takes it as the strength, loses it back there towards Pat McCandler. He's fouled, a free to cross Manina. Need to study it down here. Thomas Loftus is, has the hands out, says, study it up, lads. There's no hurry whatsoever. We're in the driving seat. Low ball in towards Joe Kane. Joe on the run. In towards Pather Garner, close to the sideline. Pather back to Wendell Lavelle. In the level, pumps a big high ball in there. PJ Loftus goes up for his taken down. Down in front of the goal. A shot from McGuinness. Oh, brilliant save by Chris Grogan. It's booted out over the sideline. Paul McGuinness had a great chance of a goal. And Chris Grogan dived and smothered it. Similar to the shot that Barry Heffernan saved down here a couple of minutes ago. Well, a terrific chance there for Cross Money. 20 minutes gone. Well, the strength of P.J. Loft is in there in front of the goal today is vital. Johnny Leonard, a huge loss, cried off, pulled something out of the to warm up. Well, Crossman Ina delaying the free kick. The referee has decided he's going to hop the ball. Breaks down, comes to the Crossman Ina man. Burst through, comes down to Michael Miles. Back towards Joe Kane. Joe Kane is shot. Sh drops short. Chris Grogan has it. Gives it down. Padagarna goes to the cornerback. It's out the far side of the field. That was Michael Costello. Back there, playing dangerously. Out this side of the field. Close to the sideline. Droscombe man just keeps it in. Thomas Laftus comes to him. The referee decided that he fouled the ball there. Michael McHale. Free to cross Manina. Thomas Loftus wants to take it. Takes it low in towards Pather Garner. Pather twisting. Back to PJ Loftus. Back to Thomas Loftus. Thomas Loftus shot is half blocked. Goes in towards Paul McGuinness. Tries to knock it down. It's taken away from him. It's got out there to the centre field man. McNeil. Coming up the field. Sticky conditions. Lost the ball. Challenge free to the 
to the Roscommon man, Michael Miles fouled him. Score remains 1-2 to 2 points. Just a penalty separating the sides. Well, what an array of umbrellas we have around here. Man still down receiving attention. <laughs> Cameraman coming down here, getting a bit of a ribbon from the lads. As the rain comes down and the cross line is substitutes, Gabriel Welsh and Noel Convey limbers up down on the sideline. Free out to the Gales. Heenan takes it long ball into Gary Kelly. Ball breaks to him. Back here, Stephen Rochford is ball watching. And Michael McHale has been picked up by Stephen Rochford and taken quickly across the far side of the field to the centre half back. Low ball in there. Jordan Malley goes for it with Ross. Fisted back, back towards Alan Nolan. He's challenged by Michael O'Malley. A long ball, a kick in, and he kicks it wide. Good pressure by Gerard. Kick out to Cross Manina. 22 minutes gone in this first half. Barry Heffernan kicking into this wind that's blowing across the field. Colin Riley runs out, gives him something to aim at. Barry goes for the middle. Two Ross Common men under it. James Nallon is there. Comes down to us. Column Riley. Column comes out. Fisted out. Lucky to get away with that. Gerard O'Malley goes down on it. Been challenged into Pat McCandler. Pat McCandler then a long ball inside towards Pelagana to Joe Keane. Joe Keane as the cuts inside. Still Joe Keane. Joe Keane a big high ball that goes wide. And Michael Miles was calling for it. Just go wide. It's down in front of the goal. It's gone wide now, the umpire says. Well, I thought it was wide first. Well, an absolute terrible day now. He's off a bit the rain, maybe down towards James Nannan. James Nannan goes up and fists it down. Picked up by Thomas Laft as Thomas is pulled and dragged, and it's a free to cross Manina. Thomas Laft lays it to James Nannan. James takes it into to Joe Keane. Joe tries to come inside his men. Still challenge Joe across there towards James Nannan. James Nannan back towards Paul P.J. Loftus. He kicks it wide. Well, he went for height and the ball swung and the, the wind coming in from that corner, the southwest wind. The idea was right. James decided not to have a go with the left foot. Two to two points, the score remains, and 25 minutes gone. Chris Gogan with the kick out. Joe Kane knocks it inside. Back there is Michael McNeely. McNeely tries to come out. Gives a long ball out towards Jared O'Malley. Jared O'Malley and Ross Shannon. O'Malley goes for it. Two cross for Nineman goes for it. Breaks down to the Roscommon man. Kicks it in towards Tom Nallan. <laughs> Stephen Rochford misses it, and Tom Nallan down towards. McHale, McHale fisted inside. Down in front of the goal, a shot. Barry Heffernan knocks it out. Good save by Barry, number 15. John Hanley, John Hanley fists it across. Gets, kicks it across towards Barry Heffernan. Gerald O'Malley picks it up. A lucky escape there, two cross behind him in, missed it. That's the wet day. Anything can happen. Referee gives the free from where the ball landed. Or someone down here. Oh, there's a clash there in the middle of the field. I forgot about that. The three men went for it and Roscommon came out the worst of it. Barry having a good stop there. Difficult day for a keeper. Difficult day for anybody. Especially for a keeper. If you make one mistake in there, it's fatal. Well, Ross Shannon limps away from that and I think he injured himself a little bit the last day and the referee is having a word with the Roscommon official out there telling them uh, 
why he did this and why he did that and last comment down to uh, cross behind a dent that's a fair flow in the first couple of minutes with Johnny Leonard off Referee in the Stinson tried something fancy. Maybe the Kieran McDonald would try if he was playing. Ball broken down there. Taken on by the Roscommon Fergal O'Donnell being challenged. Takes it outside. Gives it inside. Knocks it down to Fergal again. Fergal being challenged by Damien Mulligan. Fergal a shot. Dangerous ball. Barry Heffernan takes it on. Gives it out to Stephen Rochford. Stephen Rochford into Thomas Laftus. Thomas Laftus loses it, but Gerard O'Malley boots it on first time. Picked up by the Roscommon man, down to Fergal O'Donnell. Fergal has a chance to start the movement. Michael Miles comes half back after his man. Back to Fergal. Fergal trying to burrow his way through. Takes a shot and sends it wide. No. Bring a bunch of programs to the lads here. Bring a bunch here to these lads here. Want somebody down here in front of the goal? I kind of see who it is. Is it Colum Riley? Three minutes to half time. No, it's Damien Mulligan, the centre half back, and. Well, Damien, if there's nothing, if there's anything, yet, we have Paul. Possibly he'd continue. He crunches himself there as he gets up from that. Two minutes to half time across one. I could just hold out now till half time. Of this three points, Barry Heffernan kicks a good ball out there. Peter Lavelle goes up for a break on towards James Nadan. Pushed off it by Fergal O'Donnell, being challenged by Inde Lavelle. Gives it inside. Ball breaks down. Pat McCandler comes after him. Picked off the ground. Got away with it. Still the Roscon man gets it in there towards Stephen Rochford. Being challenged out to Tom Nallan. Tom Nallan then goes for the long ball out there towards Michael Miles. Has to come deep for this. He's Gerard O'Malley with him. Back to Damien Mulligan. Challenged. Mulligan gets it as he's on the ground. Back towards Michael Miles. Back towards Gerard O'Malley. Gerard O'Malley inside towards. Who was it? Tom Nallan out the field. Tom come back. Paul McGuinness down, knocked away from him. Well, a foot challenge there, seen to be. In towards number 12, Alan Nolan. Alan Nolan down, slips Stephen Rochford, still Nolan. Being challenged back there in front of the goal, down to Kieran Heenan, out the far side of the field. Back there is Pat McCandra. Pat McCandra sees the leather. He sees nothing else now. He has Gerald Indy Lavelle with him out to Michael Miles. He's all alone at the moment. So if Michael Miles is alone, there must be some man free inside the Roscommon man. Joe Kane takes it on, gives it inside towards PJ Loftus. It goes out towards the sideline, PJ. About 25 metres out or so, still PJ Loftus turns inside his man. Still PJ being pulled and dragged. Goes on down in front of the goal. Picks it up the second time. Back there. Pather Garner is it. Bit over elaborate cross Malina. P.J. Loftus, the ball knocked away from, still P.J. Loftus in there. Somebody digs it out, is it Pathagarna? The old sight is failing me, the ball is knocked out, it's a free out. Tough look. Ball out the far side of the field, out towards Hanley, taken down into Lavelle, wins it. Crossman, I need a point. Joe Kane digs it out. Looks up. Gives it inside there. Who has it? Back towards... McGuinness, McGuinness is pulled down, you see. Robbed, James Nallan is there. Paul McGuinness seemed to be pulled down. It's a free out, it's a free out. And McGuinness seemed to be hauled down, caught by the nick there. Ball cleared. Then goes for the long one. Out there towards number 14, Gerard O'Malley comes on. Takes it on, back towards Michael Miles. He's robbed, half robbed. Gerard O'Malley cuts inside. Back towards James Nallan. James Nannan then goes for a big high ball in there towards P.J. Loftus. Comes down in front of the goal. The Roscommon back 
gets out there. Pada Kerna goes after it, close to the sideline. Pada keeps it in play. He needs support now. He has it in Joe Keane. Out there towards Indy Lavelle. Indy Lavelle is shot. High and over the bar from Lavelle. Well, a terrific score. It was well worked. He held it up, Joe Keane and Pada Garner. Four points in us. We're at half time. We're at half time. Crossman Island lead by four points. One, three to two points. Chris Grogan with the kick out. Chris kicks it high. The referee says there's time for no more. One, three to two points. the second half referee into Stenson down here in the middle of the field as the rain keeps bucketing down 1-3 to to two points he's having a chat with the players out there in the middle of the field he's ready for the the off one, three to two points. Throws the ball in, knocked down. Thomas Laftus comes onto it, in towards PJ Laftus. PJ Laftus knocked away from, comes down, taken out. Dindy Lavelle gets a hand to it, knocked back. Stephen McDonald goes for it, takes it on. Fists it out there, out to Michael McHale. It sticks in the mud. PJ Laftus tackled him, still McHale. He gets the free, taken quickly. Gives it on to Clifford McDonald. Clifford on the run, being followed. Got in there. Close to the ground, Tom Nannan digs it out. Low ball up the side of the field, straight to the Roscommon man. Falls down, Pata Gerner knocks it round his man. Gives it back, the ball has gone out over the line. Line ball to Roscommon, taken quickly up the far side of the field. Challenged, knocked down, blocked. Roscommon man picks it up again, Alan Nolan. Back to Clifford, by Kieran Heenan, Kieran Heenan the captain. Being challenged by Michael Miles. Gives it inside, Miles gets a challenge on it, back to Fergal O'Donnell, Fergal's shot is half blocked, inside. Down there, out to all alone on the side of the field, some cross behind the man not marking, inside to Gary Kelly, Gary Kelly is shot. The ball goes in, Barry Haver knocks it down, it's a 45, well that hung in the air, it was a dangerous ball. Cross back there, in the cornerback position was caught, out of position and... His man had sneaked in all alone. 45. One, three to two points. Four points in it. Crossman Island got the first score after the half time that in the drawing game in Hyde Park and substitute on for Roscommon Gaze, number 19. Owen Brown, ball out there. Out towards the sideline taken. Out to McKay, challenged. Trying to play around there, back there towards Hanley being challenged. Still Hanley takes it on, fists it inside. Crossman Ironman digs it out. Colum Riley then screws the ball outside to Joe Kane. Back to Pat McCandra. 
Pat McCandra into Paul McGuinness. Down to Pat Padagana. He's challenged. It's a free in. Free to cross Manina. Paul McGuinness being followed. Out there towards James Nallan. James Nallan lost a big high ball in. The fullback is there. Shakes it away from Michael Miles. That's Brian McNeely. His father from Swinsford. Kieran Heenan gets it out. Out to Michael Ryan. Michael Ryan has it. Long ball up the field. Seem to be a bit of a push there. Back there is Colum Riley. Colum brings it away. Inside to Joe Kane. Ball beats him inside to Pather Garner. Pather steps outside his man very well. Big ball inside. Down towards Michael Miles. Michael Miles tries to take on his man. Still Miles. It's a free in. It's a free in. Michael Miles was pulled. And Joe Kane will take this free. And Brian McNeila is out on his feet there. The heavy conditions. Substitutes today will be vital. Thomas Loftus goes out towards the sideline. The sap and energy conditions, the training and all the hard work will come into play now. Pada Garner's togs as black as soot. Joe Kane, hands down by his side, black gloves. Comes, kicks it in. He kicks it wide. Well, a difficult day for place kickers. He's got a couple of, he's got a good free earlier on. Chris Grogan kicking down now. As a crowd down here, Orges on both teams. Chris Grogan with the kick out. Low ball out. Comes down there, picked up by Brian McNeil. McNeil, the ball has gone out over the sideline. Kicked straight out over the sideline, line ball to cross Manina. Now, what are they going to do with it? Are they going to go short? In towards Joe Kane. Joe Kane has it. Joe Kane is shot in. It's over the bar. Joe Kane has put it over the bar. Terrific score from Kane. His second point of the game. One four to two points. Now the cool heads. Thomas Loftus took that free out on the sideline. Somebody was intended to take it quick. Thomas says, hold on a minute. I'll take this. And that's for the experience of Thomas. All those years playing. Chris Grogan comes, kicks it, slips as he kicks it. McNeil kicks it, takes it on the run. Cross behind man was pulled earlier on for that. It's still McNeil. McNeil in there towards Gary Kelly down there to Fergal O'Donnell. Fists it out there. To Stephen Rochford goes in, digs it out. Fists it outside. Gives it on there towards Thomas Laftus. Thomas Laftus toe to hand. Back to Pat McCandra. He's robbed. Free to Roscommon Gales. Roscommon man down here. Front of the goal. The umpires don't seem to have their hands or anything off that they've seen anything. Alan Nolan will take this free. It's a crucial time of the game. Six minutes gone in the second half. An absolute nightmare for cameramen, players and everything else. Even in this fine truck here. As Adam Nolan. Take this free. Fergal O'Donnell wearing number nine out there. He's alone at the moment. Number four running back there is Michael Costello. Michael Miles runs after him. Alan Nolan kicks it out. He isn't picked up at the moment. The ball slips. Been followed by Damien Mulligan. Comes inside Damien. Still Damien after him. Kicks it in. Barry Heffernan comes out. Gives it outside to Tom Nadan. Barry Heffernan seems to be fouled, to say. Is Barry Heffernan fouled? He is, yes. Free out. The ref referee is noting the Roscommon player's name. Well, that was a dirty ball in. Who's going to take it? Is it James Nannan or who? No, it's not. Gerard O'Malley, I think. Barry decides to leave it there. One four to two points. Ball out there to James Nannan. James 
then goes for distance in towards Joe Kane. Joe Kane is on the run until Joe Kane turns and twists down as man Michael Myers goes onto it. Knocked away, is picked up. Two Roscom and then there, Cl- Kieran Heenan gets Clifford McDonald gets the free out, and that was a, a softish free. He was going nowhere, but he gives a straight back to Wendell Lavelle. Wendell Lavelle into Paul McGuinness. Paul McGuinness into PJ Loftus. PJ Loftus slips. He's down in front of the goal. Back to Joe Kane. He's surrounded by three Roscommon men. It's a free in. Joe Kane. Good work. PJ Loftus picked it up. He's taken a deep breath. Who's going to take this free? Is it PJ Loftus? He leaves it there to Michael Miles. Michael Miles kicks it in and kicks it over the bar. His first score of the game, a crucial score, 1 6 2. Or is it 1 5 2? Two, two points. 1 5 to 2 points. 1 5 to 2 points. Chris Grogan with this kick out. Now a vital junction of the game. Five minutes into the second half, or seven minutes, eight minutes. Low ball in towards into Lavelle. Breaks it down. Paul McGuinness does a bit of soccer work for it. Back towards Jim Nannan. Leaves the ball behind. Michael Myers comes onto it. Follows it in. Chris Grogan blocks it. Comes back there to into Lavelle. He needs support now. Big high ball across there towards Pada Garner. Jim Nannan picks it up. This men queuing up for it all over the place. Low ball in towards the goalie from James. Fist it out. Liam McNeely down. Liam McNeely to Kieran Heenan being challenged. Back there is O'Donnell. O'Donnell seemed to throw it. Into Lavelle gets a hand to it. Loses it. Challenges man Clifford McDonnell and fouls him. And it's a free six points in it. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Clifford comes, kicks. High ball out there towards Tom Nadan and. The ball is going to go out over the sideline. A line ball to Crossmanina. Tension gripped on the faces of everybody down here. As ball inside, not a great free. Liam McNeely picks it up, fists it on there. To Michael McHale, gives it out the far side of the field. Rochford is after his man. Still Rochford challenges him close to the sideline, gets round him. It's still Alan Handley tries to get round Pat McCandra. It's a free in, it's a free to Roscommon. Pat McAndra is livid with that. He draws a free and Crossman and they need to be disciplined here now. They need to put the ball down and no messing with the referee, no talking to the referee, just get on with the game. Two points to one, five. Very hard to pick out the players down here and it's a distance. Barry Heffern dancing now, 11 minutes gone, 19 to go. Michael McHale, low, taken out to Damien Mulligan. Damien Mulligan goes for distance. Thomas Loftus is there. Patagana loses it. Still the Roscoe man tries to dig it in. Damien Mulligan is after him, Pat McCandra is after him. Still Pat McCandra and Damien Mulligan. Enda Lavelle gets a hand in, digs it in. Pat McCandra out to Dame Enda. Enda loses it. It's not a day for the sharp passing. The Roscommon man loses it. Free to. Who's the free going to? Is it Crossmanine or is it to? It seems that where the players are running in that it's to. Roscommon Gales. Pat McCandra is receiving attention anyways. Still the main score remains 1-5 to 2 points. Free to. No, he's going to throw it in. Knocked down. Picked out by O'Donnell. Tries to burrow his way through. Still O'Donnell pushes them off. Goes out for the far side of the field. Been challenged by several different players. A hand, ch- high ball across there. This is Colin Riley. He has to be disciplined. He roots it out. Anywhere will do. 
Patakana goes back after his man. Knocked across there. The ball stands up. Clifford McDonald gets it inside. Rochford grabs it. Referee says you pushed in the back. It's a free in. Well, there's a bit of a shuffle on. The linesman is running in. There's men down. Some man, cross man, man is down here in front of the goal. Is it Jared O'Malley or is it Stephen Rochford? And this is no good for the game at all. Fellas lose their discipline and lose their shape. This is the game. Crossman are in the lead. You cannot just be messing. Just get on with the game. It was a free, and the referee is going to stick by it, is he? Well, no, he's going to hop the ball now. Bit of discipline there on the, the gales. It's a free in now. Two men in the far side of the field. Nobody marking them all. The Crossman Iron fellas sucked out where the hop was. The referee now brings the ball in further and, well, given the chance much easier. It's kicked in and it's kicked over the bar. Point for us, Common, out of all that. 15 minutes gone, 14 minutes gone. And Crossman, I need to just keep playing the ball and not to get involved in any dust ups or any rumpuses. Harry Heffern will kick this ball out here. Michael Miles goes in full forward. Joe Kane pulls out on Michael Costello. Sub in for Roscommon. And with the numbers and uh, so far away, it's hard to know. Just like number 17, Harry Coates. Kicked out towards Thomas Loftus, goes up, taken down. By McNeil, it gives it across to O'Donnell. O'Donnell goes for distance in there. It's knocked down there. Comes towards the substitute just in. Porrick Oates is it. Porrick, toe to hand. Still Oates. Fists it. Knocked away. Thomas Loftus goes in, gets a boot to it. Jared O'Malley is it, or James Nallan has it. James Nallan goes route one. Terrific work. Blocked. Half blocked of Fiji Loftus. Gives it out to O'Donnell. Into Lavelle is after him. Still Fergal O'Donnell slipping and gets away. Takes it on. Down is John Hanley. John Hanley has it. In challenge. Still Hanley. Fists it back to Clifford. Clifford looks up then. Gives it out this side to Michael. Michael Castle slips still close to the sideline PJ Loftus goes out and challenges Roscommon man was going for the ball PJ Loftus went in late on him Michael Costello he's all right he's up he booked PJ Loftus and PJ will have to be much careful now. Free down here, Fergal O'Donnell to take it. 14 minutes between Crossmanine and History. Five points up. The umpire is calling the, the linesman down there. Speaks to the two of them. Kieran Heener will take this on the halfway line, close to the halfway line. He goes for distance in there. Back there is Thomas Loftus, tries to dig it out, loses it, He's got out the far side of the field. Knocked away, taken quickly out there to Pat McCandra, tries to pick it up. Well, it won't come up like that today, and that was a silly thing to do. Clipper. Fergal O'Donnell, this challenge there by two cross minimums. Still O'Donnell tries to burrow his way through. Still O'Donnell seems to throw the ball. 
It's a free in now. Michael is it Ross Shannon. And Crossman and I have lost our way a little bit the last couple of minutes. 12 minutes left in the game. Substitute getting ready down here. Ross Shannon kicks it in. Barry Heverton takes it down, grabs it, tries to come out. Then gives a long ball out towards into the very little hop. Will he keep it in play? The heavy ground out there to kept it in play. Gives it inside there to Jared O'Malley. Jared O'Malley picks it up. Being pushed in the back. Back there to Damien Mulligan. Damien comes on the run. Still Mulligan. A big high ball in there. Paul McGuinness goes up, knocks it down. Broken down. Picked up by Joe Kane. Joe Kane back to Damien Mulligan. Back to Michael Miles. Michael Miles down to Paul McGuinness. Paul McGuinness a shot. He sends it wide. Well, a terrific chance for Crossman Irons to get back into a six point game. Chris Grogan down here wants to take it short. Players, nobody's looking for it. 12 minutes left in the game. Chris Grogan kicks it out low, comes towards PJ Laftis. PJ Laftis kicks it in. It hops in front of Chris Grogan. PJ should have carried it. Chris kicks it out again. Two cross common men there. It's Patagarna goes in, challenges the fly, free out, free out. Cross the man down here in front of the goal. Who is it? Ten minutes left in the game. Who is it that's down here? Is it a Roscommon man or a cross man with the purple? I think it's a Roscommon lead. Cross Manina would need to be thinking about a substitute about now to freshen things up. Fresh legs. Free down here to Parik Oates. Is it number 19? No, it's Owen Brown that take it. Well, Gabriel Welsh looks to be coming in, and who's going off? Would it be PJ Laftis? Well, it's Michael Miles that's going off. Michael Miles has gone off, and Gabriel Welsh has come on. Ross Gowan, man, still receiving attention. Ten minutes left of normal time. Roscommon lead, seems to be a bit of blood. Line ball down here, a free to the Gales. Owen Brown to take it. Paul McGuinness has moved out the field and Gabriel Welch is in and Clifford McDonnell. Owen kicks a high ball up in the air. Michael Gerard O'Malley is down there, picked up there. By Roscommon man, tries to burrow his way through. Wants to take quickly. Long ball in there. Roscommon man still uh, on the ball. Cross Manina has it, Ross Shannon is there. Ross trying to burrow his way down, it's blocked down. It's booted out. Joe Kane comes to it. Now, this is a vital ball. Joe Kane has nobody's aim for at the moment. He has now Pathagarna. Pathagarna goes down on it. It's knocked away from him. Taken in quickly towards Joe Kane. Joe Kane is on the run. Tries to kick it into the goalies. It's a pity it didn't go wide. The ball needs to be killed. Clifford has it. Kieran has it. Challenged by PJ Laftis. Still Kieran. Lose the ball. Knocked away from him. Back there, a substitute. PJ Laftis challenges him. Roscon man is going nowhere. The, the referee was leaning towards him. Back there towards the fullback. Brian McNeely. Brian goes out the far side of the field. The ball, this ball will hop. It's gone out over the sideline. Eight minutes left in the game of normal time. Crossman, I need to kill the ball when you get a 
chance down here. Don't be afraid to kick it over the bar, lads. James Nannan will take this free. Long ball in towards Joe Keane. Joe takes it very well. He's pulled and dragged. Back there to James Nannan. James Nannan floats the ball in. It's inviting down. The back comes out with it. Kieran Heenan taken away by Alan Nolan. Challenged. Given out there. Knocked away. Knocked inside. PJ Loftus goes on to the man. Into Lavelle is there. PJ Loftus goes in. In Thomas Loftus wins it. Pat McCandler digs it. He's challenged. It's a free and it's a vital free to cross Malina. Six or seven minutes left in the game. This is Joe Kane's free. Is Indy Lavelle going to take it? Indy Lavelle is going to have a go at it. He needs to kill it or point it. It's no good kicking it into the goalie's hands or setting up an attack for the Roscommon men. Indy Lavelle kicks it in. It goes wide. Terrific chance but missed. Six minutes left in the game. The score remains three points to one five. Chris Grogan kicks it out. Broken down. Picked up by Paul McGuinness. Out there is Indy Lavelle. Indy Lavelle tries to come inside his man. Not the easiest thing. PJ Loftus goes for distance across the goal. It's knocked away from Joe Keane. A terrific save again by the keeper. Padagana goes on to it. Knocks it away from him. He's got Joe Keane inside him. He's got James Nallan outside him. Inside to Joe Keane. Joe needs to take it on now. He's into in tight corner. Out to Pat McCandra. Pat McCandra. Pat McCandra kicks it across, but straight to the Roscommon man. It's Brian McNeely. Brian out the far side of the field. Thomas Loftus goes after this. Indy Lavelle is out there. Alan Nolan has it. Two cross behind him in after him. Still Alan Nolan. Alan trying to borrow his way around. He gives, the free is given away. Free to the Gales. Five minutes left in the game. Another substitute is needed. Long ball up there. Taken down. Dug out by Gerald McCandra. Gary Welch goes on to him. It's free. Taken quickly. Tom Nallan is there as well as Colm Riley. Out this side of the field to Thomas Loftus. Thomas Loftus takes it on. Pata Garner goes after his man. Still Garner. He's beaten. Back to number 19, Owen Brown. Owen Brown takes it on. Goes up the field. Lose the ball. Pata Garner is after him. Back to O'Donnell. Knocks it inside the corner. Going up and on this side of the field. This is a dangerous attack. It's measured build up. Ball is knocked away from him. Roscommon still retained the position. Ball in there. Is it Ross Shannon? Ross trying to get round. Still the Roscommon man. Being challenged, being pushed out, being forced out. And the free out to Crossmanina. Terrific work by the backs. Absolutely terrific down there. Every man kept their hands off their man. Went for the hands up. Colin Riley goes for distance. This one will carry out over the line. Cross the line, man seemed to be pushed in the back, but it's a free, it's a line ball. Five minutes left in the game of normal time. Michael Costello kicks it inside. Well won there by the Roscommon man. Lose the ball, hand in for Cross Manina. Free in, free in. O'Donnell wants to take it quickly. Taken out the far side of the field, back there. His Colm Riley, Colm is challenged and pulled. He's fouled, it's a free to cross Manina. Free to cross Manina. Four minutes left in the game. Taken to Indy Lavelle, Indy Lavelle takes it on. Out the far side of the field to Pat McCandra. Pat McCandra takes it on. Comes up the field. Then changes, switches the play over this side of the field. Joe Kane comes on to it. He's got James Nallan with him. James Nallan is on a run. He's been pulled back. Still Joe Kane. Gives it across to Gabriel Welsh. Gabriel Welsh. Gabriel Welsh is shot. Gabriel Welsh. A point. Well, this is the one. Gabriel Welsh has took a terrific point there. Great work as Noel Convey comes in. The White Dogs. Three minutes left in the game. Well, it inspires and substitutes. Joe Kane waited. The ball taken out quickly. Down towards James Nannan. James gets a hand to it. 
James still being challenged. Back there towards into Lavelle. Inside to PJ Loftus. Can PJ Loftus put this over the bear? Lose the ball. Taken out the far side of the field by Indy Lavelle gets a challenge in there, a good challenge. No, the referee says no, it was on Paul Fat Hoy. Bit of jostling, pushing and shoving. Two minutes left in the game, the referee urges the play on. Hoey takes it, high ball inside. Back there is Colum Riley. Out the far side of the field to Joe Kane to inside towards James Nallan. Ball is free to Ross Common. Free to Ross Common. Ross Shannon is it? No, Fergal O'Donnell takes it, a big high ball in. Dangerous ball in. Tom Nallan goes for it. Ball breaks down. Comes back to one of the Roscommon lads. Shot in. Barry Heffernan has it. Gives it out the far side of the field to Stephen Rochford. Stephen Rochford. Knocks it on to Jared O'Malley. One hand. Terrific catch by O'Malley. Now who has it? PJ Loftus goes for distance. It comes to Clifford. Clifford has it. He challenged by Joe Keane. Free to Roscommon Gales. Take it quickly. Fergal O'Donnell playing his heart out as usual. Inside to Alan Nolan. Alan is on the run. Pat McCandler goes back after him. Nolan turns, twist into the veil, comes to him. Knocked down still Nolan. It's a free in. Three points to one, six. Nine points to three. Two goals in it. And it's tipped over the bar. It's a point. One six to four points. We've got about a minute or so of normal time. Substitute on the cross Manina team, Francis Costello. Barry Heffernan with the kick out. Time is almost up. It's up to the referee. He'll play a minute or so. Barry kicks the ball down here towards James Nallan. James goes up, knocks it down to Gerard O'Malley. Gerard O'Malley comes out with the ball. Still Gerard O'Malley, he's slipping and sliding. Thomas Loftus slipped there, was it into the veil? Convey got a hand to it. Convey has it. There's a Gerard O'Malley. Convey a shot. It's a shot. It's, it's over the bar! No, Convey has put it over the bar! Well, Noel Convey and Gabriel Welsh have come on and scored two vital points. 1999. A historic year for the Crossman Island Club. We cannot be beaten as Chris Grogan organises his men. One. Into Lavelle goes up. The ball is taken by the Roscommon. Well, the, the ball is soap. It's well taken. Challenge there, Michael Ryan. Free to Roscommon. We're in injury time. A minute of injury time. Pat McCandler is pushed. Back there. Is Colum Riley. Colum Riley takes it out. Kicks it out the far side of the field. To the cleanest man on the field is Frankie Costello. Frankie kicks it in. Down to Noel Convey. Convey gives it back. Well won by Jimmy Nallan. Let's Ross Common dig it out. Kieran Heenan. Kieran Heenan kicks it in towards the corner. I cannot make out the Ross Common man. He kicks it right across the goal there. Into Lavelle rises for it, takes it out. Kicks it on. First time, or is it Gabriel Welsh? Tips it up terrifically. The wet ball is knocked away from him. Ross Shannon, Ross has it. Into Lavelle gets a hand in, still Ross. Down there, knocked away. The Ross government picks it up. He's 13 metres out. The referee says a free in. Two Ross government men, the far side of the field, trying to pick them out. He kicks it in and he kicks it over the bar. But the referee says no. We played a minute and a half of overtime. What is it? Is the referee allowing the score? Is he, is he allowing the point? Is he allowing the point? Yes, it seems like he's allowing the point for Roscommon. Five points to one, six. Five points to one, six. 
The crowd out here are calling for the final whistle. Barry Heffernan comes and kicks it. And uh, kicks it. It's all over! Cross Malina are Connacht Club Champions 1999. And Tommy Ibrant and David Farrell and all the cameramen are out. Well, it may be wet, but I can tell you it's sweet. Absolutely terrific.